Huh. Oh, let's try that. How's that sound? Is that better? I bet you that sounded like a big boost. That looked like it changed a lot. Oh my god. <laughs> Way better. Alright, that's good. <laughs> that's good. Uh, I guess it was one of my filters that were... Um, that were uh that were kind of like blocking the sound a little bit i guess that's kind of weird all right well that's good i'm glad i got that figured out thanks uh mr t man you're the best always good to have a nice uh a nice companion like you to help me figure that crap out <laughs> that's wicked all right so uh, i guess we're gonna pretty much all start over here from the beginning now uh so we went through all of this and uh, I'm explaining now uh, what the seismic reader is. So the seismic reader, what it does, it gives you like a little general map of your area. And then say you want to try to find this one of these in particular resources, right? So we'll throw in the iron for now. So it shows me that I'm here in the middle uh, where this, uh, I guess, little sand is. And it shows you I got iron over here, over here, and it seems to be quite a bit more concentrated up this way. And then if you wanted to find something else like copper, all the copper is like all over right here near me. Um, and then we have coal as well, which is good. That's good. Uh, come and help, but then you fixed it. Nice. Yes, I did fix it. I'm so happy. Yes, it was just a stupid filter. Uh, and then we got diamonds here and redstone. So I think the first thing we should go after is iron, right? So probably just up over here we'll start away from the woods. I think that would probably be a good idea. So oh, go pick that up. Come here, you. All right. So what these things are, these are drills. So we get start off with two drills. Um, so we'll just run over yonder, I believe. Oh, it's so slow at the beginning. You don't get to run very fast. You get these boots that we can unlock with science later on that we can run. So this or anything here is just like that uh, seismic detector thing in my bobber, but uh, it's strange. Now I don't have sound in my headset, which is uh, kind of horrible. I wonder if that's just the volume on my thing here. Could be. Who knows? All right. So this has a uh, tin aluminum. So if we hit F9 twice, we can see the chunk borders. So it's probably around here somewhere. We got uh, copper, platinum. All right, let's get that seismic reader out again and check it out and see how much farther we have to go. Uh, where am I here? I'm assuming I should be always like near the middle. Yeah, so I'm here. We go iron and just go just keep going that way. All right, come back over here. All right, I picked that up. Yep. Yeah. All right, so let's go back up this way. I think up near these trees, near the swamp area, is where there's a bunch of iron. Let's check it out right here. Oop, wrong button. Okay, so there's nothing in that chunk. Should be getting close to that iron though. Okay, we got coal. That's good. Probably just over here. I say this is the chunk with the iron in it. No, no, no. Farther over. Right here. Nothing. My lord. They're being cheesy with me. Alright, let's go back to the ore scanner thing here. Just in case I started running away from it. So, where am I? I'm in the middle here. I should be somewhere in the middle. Where are they? There you are. So, looks like it'd be too inside the forest area. Or this way. Probably this way. It kind of sucks because I think my map is on, uh, oh yeah, it's on rotate. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, we got nether quartz. Wonder if I'm getting closer here. Let's try to find it again. 
I should be in the middle. You were here. So if I keep walking straight, I should be able to get it. Keep dropping that. Probably end up losing it at one point or another. Or I'll end up smelting it or something. <laughs> My luck. All right. Yes, we got iron. All right. So now we can toss these things down here. And they make like this uh, little multi-block thing, which is pretty awesome. Uh, what's in the next chunk over? So we got more iron, diamonds, probably the same thing as we found here too, right? Uh, nickel, gold. All right, well, I'll put both. Uh, I don't know. Do I have... Oh, I'm going to need coal too. I know there was coal not far here. <clears throat> I guess I could put it in the coal in here and find out where coal is. See how far I am. Gives me a rough idea. Oh, we're pretty close. I'm here. So probably just back here. I would hope. Let's go check it out. So it won't be in that chunk there. Maybe this chunk right over here. Nothing. I feel like I'm running around after ghosts. All right, so now we got uh, coal here. That's good. All right, that's very good, very good, very good. So now we got that. We put in a drill head. I'm not going to use that. What's really cool about this uh, mod pack, though, is when you chop down the bottom tree or the bottom log, everything falls down, so you don't have to chop the entire tree, which is uh, very super handy. Uh, another really good thing about this mod pack, too, is... Uh, there's um, no mobs. We are playing on peaceful. So I kind of feel like I'm, I'm cheesing things out here. Let's get rid of that since we don't need it anymore. But uh, at the same time too, we do have another mod in here that gives you mob drops, which is kind of odd, which is, you know, pretty good too. All right, so now we got some wood. We can throw some wood in there. That's going to start uh, doing that. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm going to need a chest or two here. So let's... Uh, make a crafting table and then we can make a crafting station a crafting station we can just do this with make some chestuses so if we use on a right right click that and then all the stuff that that mines should jump in here and go into that chest now so we'll just grab you and bring you along for the ride all right so we'll right click on that put another chest down and then we'll throw the rest of the wood in there for now with a drill head. And then that should start getting us some materials so we can kind of progress forward here. Now we're going to need some cobblestone, so we're going to have to dig down below and grab some cobble. Uh, what's a single mod? All the well, No, this whole thing is like an entire mod pack, so it's a collection of like a whole bunch of different mods. So there's probably like 80 or to 100 mods that could be running on this in particular mod pack um some mod packs that you can get have like um like a couple hundred mods in there it gets quite ridiculous actually um pretty technical too so now we got some iron so if we go look at our quest book thingamabobber here now it's going to tell us that we need to go and get some um get some cobblestone so we got we'll get an iron hammer and excavator tool and some charcoal for doing that so I guess no place better to dig down than right here right why not all right let's just make ourselves a little a little tunnel downwards just enough so we can get some cobble of course I look at this I'm not even gonna hit cobble right away I'm gonna get other junk all right pretty good not bad not bad all right so now we got some cobblestone going on very nice, very nice. All right. Just need enough of it that I can complete the quest there, thingamabobber. All right, let's go up here where it's uh, nice and light out. I'll have to put some torches down there. There we go. So now we got that kind of stuff. Uh, do I have any sticks left? Or I never did have any sticks to begin with, but let's make some. And then we'll put you to good use. There we go, now we got some torches. Uh, it doesn't feel so dark down there. 
All right, so we're going to need some, lots of cobble here. So what's really cool about these hammers is they're like three by three hammers. So you can see that they're all highlighted. You can mine three squares at a time. This is so awesome because then you can collect all kinds of like cobble and materials that you need to, to farm, right? So which is pretty good. And it makes gathering resources a lot faster. And that other one that's like a shovel, it's the same thing with... Uh, uh, what is it there with dirt so if you're like mining dirt sand or gravel or you know anything like that you could do a in by a three by three which is pretty cool so let's collect this kind of stuff here there we go uh, we should have enough to make a few uh, was it there a few furnaces i think that's the next thing that they want us to do i feel like that's what the next thing they want us to do Okay, so they want us to get iron. Oh, okay, I can just go grab that out of my drill. Which one? This one. Bam. So I got the two iron. They're going to give me another burner drill. That's pretty awesome. Um, down here. Oh, they're going to give me a chest. That's pretty good, too. This chest is pretty big. Um, so if I go like that, and I can put this chest down next to it, and this will read the inventory of the chest that's there. So I can kind of like throw all my junk in there. And I could like view it from from uh, this crafting table here. So when I'm doing my recipes, it'll actually pull the items right out of there and go right into that. Um, no, I'm not digging straight down. But, you know, I could actually because it's like um, there's no caves or anything in this. It's just a flat world, but everything's full. So there's no ores or anything down below me. It's just like, that's it. So it's not like a regular Minecraft world. It's like a super flat world. There's no hills. There's no nothing. But I got like trees and, you know, biomes and everything. It's just not the same. Which is pretty cool. But at the same time, it's better for building. So, all right. So we need to make some uh, fern eyes. So now we got some furnaces. And uh, what was that part of this? Oh, and they want me to smelt some iron now. So I guess we'll do that. We'll put these four down. And then you can get into some pretty crazy automation later on, too. It's uh, pretty impressive. Uh, oh, that must be out of fuel. That's why it stopped. All right, so that's fine. And then you're probably stopped, too. So we'll put half of you into that. And then we'll put the other half into there. And I guess we'll just chop some trees to make some fuel for the uh, furnaces. That would be a, a probably a good idea. And considering it's fast to collect trees... Um, won't be a won't be a problem it's pretty good what's odd no oh, did you find um all the the stickers is that what you're you're looking at strange enough though like I, I did turn down some of the volume for the stickers though because like i know they're free and i don't want people to annoy the, the living hell out of me <laughs> <laughs> which i think was a, probably a smart thing to do um uh, all right so how much we own? not very much i just gotta go collect a little bit more in order to melt some stuff very good very good there's a little bit of the beginning is a little bit slow just because you have to you know find your initial resources of where they are um then you have like ore doubling and all that kind of stuff so before you get to about even halfway through the pack um, you can get up to a hundred times ore doubling. So for every one piece of like iron I get, I can turn that into a hundred ingots, which is pretty cool. Just going to take a little while to get that though, but that's, uh, going to be very good for, for gathering because for the first little while, you're going to be dependent on these drills in order to get your material. Um, which is kind of, I guess, kind of okay. You know, uh, other than that. So, and then after that you get like an infinity drill and then you just feed that some material and it mines for you. And you can get like, uh, the ores are kind of done like in stages. So you have like tier one ores, tier two ores, tier three ores. So, um, tier one ores would be like, uh, I guess iron and copper. And then your tier two ores are kind of like, uh, gold, tin, lead, stuff like that which is pretty neat. 
uh, gives you more of a hard time to find your stuff it being all over the place which is pretty cool too um, all the veins uh, was it their iron veins and all that you don't see them but I guess they're virtually there you know because you use your scanner right and you find out like oh I have 196 iron ore left and 82 diamonds left in this chunk you know, so and that one over there will when it runs out it runs out and then that's it and you got to move to the next one so for the first little while you're going to be running around for your resources like that so I think we should be okay to uh, maybe start smelting some of this iron uh, what do you think I think we should so we'll just fill a few of these up here oh whatever there we go now, what did I collect for iron so far? 40 iron so far. That's pretty good. It's a good start. It's a good start. So let's uh, spread those out. Put one in here. And we'll go like that. And so forth. So we'll wait after that to get smelted. In the meantime, let's go look at what else we got to do here. Uh, I guess so that's what we're, we're gated on that. And then you get a drill. What's this? Uh, the slowest setup is the burner drill with the iron drill head in it. Uh, one coal provides enough fuel to dig up about 20 items. Uh, a block of coal is 200 items. Uh, so I guess I should be making them into blocks because then you're going to get more items per. I think that would be the smartest thing to do. Um, then you get a diamond and steel drill heads. They're faster and you get about 30 times more items, which is good. So that's good knowledge. Oh, uh, they give us elevators. Really? Wow. Okay. How do they want it? How do they do the elevators in this one? Okay, so you still do need the ender eye. All right, that's fine. That'll be for later. But I don't really see the point of them in this mod pack. But all good. So we should have some iron by now, right? Nice. Let's give her. Oops, wrong one. There we go. So now we got the iron. We're going to get this morphing tool. I never use that morphing tool. Uh, apparently it could be like a crescent hammer and all these other things. So probably be a good idea to maybe use those because there's a lot of tools that you have to use later on. No, there's no caves whatsoever. It's all just uh, flat. That's all it is. Um, what else we got here? Splitting ores between multiple furnaces isn't very easy with the technology I have at the moment. My current options take up a good amount of space or time to set up. With some more research, I'll be able to access easier and better ways to parallelize my processing. <laughs> Alright, so you can get like uh, conveyor belts and item splitters and you can do it with a mine cart and all kinds of stuff like that. Um, if you can't find water, this is like an infinite water quest. So you can constantly come back here and get two buckets with um, water in them. So I guess it's kind of like an infinite bucket thing. Can you smelt the buckets? <laughs> like if I got rid of this water, could I? <laughs> that would be that would be really cheesy. Then you could have like pretty much all infinite iron. Can you smelt these? No, they they don't they don't smelt. Okay, he's thought of that. <laughs> that would have been pretty good though all right um <laughs> uh, what else we got here so uh now we need alloying uh they want us to make an alloying kin kiln so then we're going to need coke bricks and cobblestone so that's just like stone so i'm gonna have to smelt stone that's unfortunate but i'm gonna have to do that all right, so let's go get uh, put a stack in here and a stack in here, and then we'll go back downstairs and we'll um, we'll get some more stone. Stone cold, Steve Austin. Good old days of wrestling, man. Ah, I'm telling you, I don't watch wrestling anymore, but I used to watch it a lot when I was younger, and like wrestling was good back then. Like they had good story and kept you captivated and everything. And I don't know how it is nowadays. It's probably all dramatic and. You know, oh, you broke my nail. I'm pretty sure something like to do like that now. <laughs> uh, guaranteed, guaranteed. All right, so well, that hammer didn't last too long. That's uh, kind of unfortunate. I was kind of hoping to get a little bit more out of that, but 
That's fine. That's fine. We got a little bit more stone anyways. Because uh, we're going to need stone. Mostly cobblestone. Because the stone seems to be just the core of the other material. So if you... Um, we can start bookmarking things too. So we got an alloy kiln. So this is the recipe the alloy kill. Ah, the kiln. If we hit A, we can put it over here as a recipe reminder. So we can also do that with this as well. So that way when we're in the crafting table, we can just like shift click the recipes in. So if I want to do that, I would just shift click that in. But right now it's telling us that we're, we're missing stone. So once we get a little bit of stone, we can uh, go ahead and and do all that Actually, I kind of don't want to leave those in there just because I want to keep them for uh, what is it there for for scanning I think that would be a really good thing to do so let's just make another one of them and then we'll put you over here and we'll put my scanning stuff in there for now that way I don't use those materials by accident. I think that would be a good a good plan. Yes, I like that plan. All right. What else am I going to need here? Uh, I guess that's it. We're just waiting on the stone here. Oh, well, that... Oh, man. Really? All right. So we can make at least some of them here. We'll just throw that in here. So I believe you need just like... Oops. And if you shift it in, you can get more. Um, let's go for 12. I think that would be a good. Yes, 12 would be good. And then we'll go and we'll do this. And then that gives us four. I think you need eight, right? Yeah, I believe you do need eight. Uh, that's fine. That gives us three alloying kills. Kilns. So if you do the same thing here. We'll just, uh, these ones don't automatically go as a uh, multi-block structure. You got to use a hammer and create the multi-block structure. So if we go back over here and we go uh, hammer, we're going to use this thing right here. Oh, we need plates. Uh, that's an expensive way of making plates. And I need sticks. More sticks. Good stuff. All right, so now we got a hammer. I may as well make one of these. So oh, I don't have tin yet. All right, that's good. So then you can just right click on these and then you turn them into like kind of like this big furnace. So now we could take like iron and let's say redstone and we can make modularium or we could take iron and nickel and make invar, stuff like that, which is pretty good. Uh, same with your grandpa. I don't know what you're talking about. Same with your grandpa. I probably missed that. It was probably something I said a long time ago and you're just making a reference to your grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm assuming that's what it is. Alright, so now we got more stone. Alright, so what's the next little questo to go after here? Um, see, they actually want you to make modularium, so we're going to have to find redstone. Alright, so that's what we'll use that third burner for. And uh, we'll go after some redstone. I'll just take that with me. Let's grab that, that, and that. We'll use our fancy little scanner thingy here. And uh, actually, one thing I do want to do is change uh, mini maps and views. There, lock map to face north. There we go. So now that map up top won't rotate on me. So now I know if I'm facing north, which is this way. Well, then when I go and I use this thing here, this is facing north as well all the time. So. That way, uh, oh, wrestling. Oh, you used to watch wrestling. Yeah, yeah. Wrestling is the best. Like back in the day anyway, so. Um, oh, wow, we're pretty far from, because uh, I think we're here, yeah. So if I go south of me, near some trees. All right. Let's go grab that. So I'm assuming it's going to be around over here somewhere, so. Let's, uh, can't wait to get those speed boots. Oh, gonna be so much better. All right, where are we? So we got quartz here. Let's try down here. Got platinum. I don't know how far down it was though, but oh, there we go. We got some redstone, baby. That's what we're talking about. Let's toss that there and there. That there. Ah, oh, 
I didn't bring a chest. That's fine. That's very fine. Um, I'll just make a cheap crafting table over here for now. I should be able to anyways. That crafting table I can use for other things later on. There's other recipes I can do stuff with it. So, Alright, so we'll go and plop that there like that. Uh, some chestuses. And then we'll put that in there. That will start getting us redstone. Yes, beautiful. Alright, so we'll just take you back with me and then... That's nice. Alright. So will collect a little bit of wood and I'll throw some wood in there as a uh, fuel. I don't know uh, how much... Uh, how much coal I've gathered so far over there. And it's... A, a long walk. <laughs> <laughs> when you walk slow, it seems like a long walk. Um, you can also get uh, concrete later on, and you can walk really fast on concrete. It like doubles or triples just your current speed, so which is really nice. So and then you get the speed boots on top of that. It's like you're flying, so you can just fly around your little base there really quick, really fast, which is nice. Very nice indeed. All right, so I'll get, get this tree down here too. Uh, is that dog smoking a cigar? <laughs> you know, I don't, I don't, uh, I don't recommend your, your dog emotes to smoke cigars. I think that's, that's good for their health. Uh, I guess I'll just put that in there for now. And then, uh, yeah, let's bring those 18 and then we'll make some modularium out of that at least. <clears throat> oh, it's so brutal slow at the beginning. Unbelievable. Brr, hi, cow. Alright. So, what do we got over here? Oh, we got quite a bit of coal. That's good. That's encouraging. That means we probably have uh, a lot more iron. So, we'll smelt that while we're over here. I'll do that. Put some coal in here because I'm sure these... Uh, these logs don't last very long. And I probably should keep them for wood or something. Probably be better. Uh, there we go. And I'll put that in there. I'll keep the rest of these coal for the miners. That way we don't run out. Uh, a hype train stucker. Oh, it's a sticker. <laughs> oh, nice, nice. Alright, so if we go to the alloy kiln, um, alloy kill, alloy, I don't know why I keep saying alloy, alloy, so uh, we'll grab what, so we'll do 18 as well, and we'll put 18 of those in and 18 of them in, and we'll toss in some of that, and then this is going to mix the two of them together, and we're going to make a new alloy, and it's uh, modularium, there we go. So we got some modularium. That's very good. And then they're going to give us a wand and some books. Oh, thank you very much. Not much of a reader. So now we're going to get uh, two machine casings. All right. Um, yeah, well, didn't do that yet. And then this is the faster movement that I was talking about. So if you make concrete, uh, you can uh, go super fast which is great. We can also color that concrete and make it different colors and make it like a nice road or something later on. So another thing that this mod pack does give you, uh, which is one of these things here, it's a starter home. <laughs> it's pretty cheap, but uh, we'll, uh, we'll check it out here. It's a three by three house. It's pretty cheap. You can get some, uh, some more elegant ones. I don't know why it gives it back though, but which is do you get to can you throw it down again oh no you just pick it back up again oh that's cool so you don't really have to technically destroy it you can just like pick it back up huh neat well since it was a cheap little house i'm not gonna bother because there's really nothing in it <laughs> yeah i know right uh, it's kind of weird all right so we need more modularium that's what we're here for and then we have to make machine casings with that so if we come over here, we can, oh, so that means we're going to have to find some copper. <laughs> oh, no. Well, copper shouldn't be that far from me. 
Um, I don't think so anyways. But we will find out. So let's face north. Throw in some copper. And so just to my right of me, there's a bunch of copper. That's good. All right. So we'll take that out, put that there, and then we'll just go to the right. Oh, I need another miner, though. Uh, uh, everything is busy at the moment. And I think you need copper to make the next miner. Um, we'll just take you out for now. I do have enough iron at the moment, so we'll just steal you. I'll make two more... Oh, I don't need to. They're right here. All right, so let's go find us some copper. Throw the chunk border thing back on. The bog dozer. You want to see a bulldozer? I don't. I don't think we have bulldozers. Um. There we go. Bam! 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 All right. So let's get that and then right click that. Put some chestuses. There we go. And we should get iron and copper over here. And silver. Oh, we might not be able to silver yet because they draw the drill head. <coughs> drill head, sorry. So, but that's fine. There we go. So while you're doing that, let's hopefully you can get some more. Let's go over and check more modularium. And then maybe we can do a little resource gathering over here and go collect uh, the rest of the stuff. So we'll run here, grab some of that, we'll fill you up, and then it's way over here, eh? That other one? Yeah, there it is. Just popped up into render distance, like poop. I see some mod where they're like a bulldozer with a chest on the back and they drive. I think that's called create. Uh, the create mod is uh, pretty new and you can set up all kinds of cool stuff with that. Um, that that's not in here though, but um, yeah, yeah, I know what you, I think I know what mod you're talking about. Um, so, yes, so we need, uh, I guess we're kind of gated on, now we need um, that copper. So let's go see if we mined any copper in the moment way over here oh my god it's so slow i can't believe a regular running minecraft is actually like this wow i'm so used to like because i was playing this mod pack like before so i made it pretty far oh, it's only three. Oh my god it's so slow i'm wondering if i should almost um oh crap what did i do there okay wrong button don't hit those buttons Okay, don't hit those buttons. Um, <laughs> I don't know what button I bloody hit. Uh, I can still go... Oh, no, I think I messed up my... Uh, yeah, my off-screen thing. Yeah, that's fine. If I hit it again, will it go back? Oh, yeah, it did. So, let's go restore. Go borderless. Does that work? Probably not. I probably messed it up. That's fine. Yeah, yeah, I did. That's fine. I'll fix it next time. <laughs> it's not a really big deal. Um, what was I doing? I can't remember here. There we go. This, copper. And then we wanted to go drill. That's right. Yes, yes, yes. Drill. So I want to check these things. Oh, you're going to need lots of copper. Oh, boy. Each one is four. So that's uh, 16, then you need 15, one for that. But you do get two of them, so that's not so bad. Um, how many drill? Yeah, okay, and you get eight to make that. Oh, that's pretty good. So you get a whole system for making one of those. That's good. Very good, very good. All right, let's see if we got any more. I got eight. Well, I can get away with that. I can make some stuff, or start anyways. Start getting some stuff crafted up here and get ahead. No choice, no choice. So we'll put that in there. That uh, I'll take the wood away though. There. What else do we got here? Got a lot of junk on me. 
collects fast. Alright. So, I th do I have redstone in here? No, I don't. So, let's put a piece of redstone back. So, I don't lose it. Very important. Put that there. Did I... Did I just do that? Okay, I put it there. All right, let's go get some more, 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 more. We need more. I think I'll put that other drill over here so that way we can get uh, more copper since I think that's what I'm going to be held back on because if it's mining iron and copper over here, then I think it'd be a good idea to get uh, another one over here. So we just need one more. One more. Come on, give it to me. Let's go. Perfect. Awesome. That's a good start. So, let's go get this all smelted up. I'd like to try to get as far as we can in this first little episode. It'd be nice. We got a bunch of iron. Got some more stone here. That's good. Throw this in my little resource box here. Um, when do they give us simple storage? Do they give us right off the bat? Let me go check. At simple. Oh, we have it right off the bat. Well, it takes a diamond chest. Steel. Okay, that's my gate. I gotta do steel. So as soon as we unlock this next section, like after the green research, um, we can start doing steel. So that will help us get but, um, the simple storage network up and running which would be really good because then I can have a whole bunch of chests connected to like a little remote control and I can do all my crafting in a remote control which is pretty neat uh, that first test run I think I didn't save it I think I deleted it, so like the whole intro thing kind of like just went and yeah, so because of all the sound and everything, but that's fine, that's fine. Uh, I, I know I know what you're saying because you probably wanted me to make like a, a music video out of that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it ain't gonna happen, I'm not that talented. Um, I guess screw up like that only happened once and... Yeah, yeah, kind of like, yeah, I don't know. Uh, it never happens again, kind of thing. Okay, I need one more. I should have grabbed one more. It's like one of the lifetime opportunities, and you, you kind of like, you miss, you miss it, and you're like, oh, I should have, should have, could have, would have, is too late, kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I gotta smelt this stuff here. I'll put you in there. So yeah, so iron isn't going to be a problem right off the bat, I don't think. I think it's uh, going to be the copper. But uh, the last time I played in my last map there, um, oh my god, like copper was just overabundant. You need to be where you start off. Hello, burnt out guy. Here, keep going on and loop that over. And yeah, I'll try to. I'll try to remember that. Was, uh, we'll see how the sound comes out after when I check out the recordings of all this and then I'll do you the favor and I'll uh, I'll try to make a, a burnt out guy uh, rap or something there with it. We'll sit down and we'll make some lyrics and uh, we'll have it like repeat itself and loop itself and I can do different things like that. So like we'll have like uh, different things being looped up in the background and then you kind of like do your spiel of your song over top of it. So like it's like your background singers. You're making your own background singers. It's kind of funny. <laughs> That'd be pretty awesome. All right. So um, I said drill, right? Yeah, that's what we want to do. We want another drill. So we'll bookmark you. Oh, we're gonna need to bookmark you too. All right. So let's make this one first. Do I have enough? I do. And then I have enough to make those eight. And then I need four blocks. And hopefully one of these. And I should be good to go. Perfect. That's just excellent, Jeebs. Excellent. So we'll grab one of them. 
And I should be able to share this chest up here if I do this right. Uh, nine. So where are the chunk borders? Oh, I didn't. I guess we'll just eat the same chunk, I guess. Probably be a okay thing to do. So we'll do that, that, that. So now you should be spitting your stuff out into there. That's good. That's very good, very good. Awesome. So now we got lots more copper. Well, not lots, but we got some more copper coming in, which is good. You can add that to a starting Twitch blooper reel. Yeah, that'd be great. That'd be pretty awesome. Like the whole, like, I'm burnt, 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 burnt out guy. <laughs> uh, I got like that guy, you know, the guy from the, uh, from the eighties there, Max, Max, uh, head, head house or something like that there. <laughs> yeah, that'd be hilarious. I, 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 how are you? You know, <laughs> that guy had a really bad complex. They, uh, there, there's a whole thing behind that, like um, how they did that on purpose to make him be like a jerk and all that. We need some opera guy with a deep voice, burnt out guy. <laughs> yeah, that'd be pretty awesome. Uh, and just singing there, burnt out guy. You know, yeah, I, I can't sing like well I could, but I don't want to like you know break everybody's eardrums or hit that high pitched glass breaking sound. Ah! Yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> Alright. So we're doing pretty good so far. Just gotta get the uh... Oh, I didn't put that in the right spot. What am I doing? Yeah, that works. Alright, in here. So we got to make that modularium, right? So we still need more copper. That's the whole purpose of that. And more, probably need more reg the modularium as well. Uh, we got 18. Let's see what we can make with what we got. You get two casings per. We get eight casings. And I think you need eight casings just to make the one of those things. Oof, that was expensive. All right, and then they want us to make a burner drill. So this burner researcher, sorry. So this is how we're going to start getting our research. And um, yeah, this is kind of fun. All right. So we need six of these. So that's a whole bunch of these. Uh, it's four per one. So that's good. And then I should be able to go like that. Oh. I probably made more than what I need, but that's fine because we can make more later. Uh, I'll need two Ferni, which is awesome. And then it's just that thing here. All right, so you can make these like little multi -block, block structures, okay? And we just throw them here and you can rotate them. And so this is like the face, oh, the face of them. And we'll just throw it down like this and then uh, yeah so you need to add three items so these are the inputs uh, because this one is a non-electric drill one or an electric researcher so you're gonna have to feed it with um, coal and then this is the output so your research would come here to the output and then you can tell what it's doing by looking at like the main computer here so all right so if you type in research research you're gonna see that we have different types of research um, this quantum research isn't actually in the game yet there's no recipe for it like that's as far as he's gotten so far so but we'll have like <clears throat> a good little while before we get to that point so so now we got a burner researcher and we have a researcher this is the electric version and this is the burner version where you have to put in some coal or charcoal so it's gonna ask for iron plates and a conveyor belt and each one of those will give you one research so a conveyor belt is just that oh and then uh, I messed that up where are we going here oh I got the blueprint thingy nice 
Oh, and then the research. Uh, if we go to this one, iron plates are just like that for now. So just leave that as a recipe. You can use the engineer's hammer, but you burn through the engineer's hammer pretty quick. So I don't know. I think it's it's probably still best to use the engineer's hammer for now. It's probably cheaper uh, for resource wise, I believe. Especially for now, because we're kind of like resource constrained on all of this. So, we'll just throw all that in there. Um, so, if I go and I show you, I can make 64 hammers, but we use over half of the durability of the, of the hammer. But then you have to use, what is it there, two of those in order to make another, uh, another hammer. Or they have that one on an angle. There you go. So it's like that. So you would have to save one per per use of these. There you go. So now I got quite a few of them anyway, so we should be okay. Um, so I believe it was... Was it a copper gear? I believe it was, wasn't it? The research. Yeah, you needed to make a copper gear. So we're going to need a lot more copper, man. Lots more copper. But at least we can get... Uh, we'll do two research for now. That'll give me an idea of what you have to do for researching. Oh, I'll be able to do eight. Alright, let's do eight. So we'll get eight researches out of this. Which is pretty good. So we'll throw in that. That. And that. And then we'll look here and it shows you that it's processing. It's uh, not super slow and it's not super fast. So it's not too bad. So if you have multiple of these. And you're like feeding like a production line of them. It'll go pretty quick. So then that way you... Uh, you can make more research, right? And then your research is going to pop out here whenever it's done. And that's what we need in order to unlock the next section. Because then that's going to give us steel. And then... Oh. Uh, sometimes you'll need a lot more research. You're going to have to con like condense it down. So this gets compact up into three. So if we go back in here and you look at your research. So this is like times one then you can compress it into times eight and then you can compress it into times 64 so this would be 64 pieces of research so 164 which uh yeah it's pretty cool man because then that way well it's kind of cool in a sense but and not in a way because then once you start getting into that area where you have to unlock so this is the part of the mod pack i didn't really go over yet um, these are like all your research things. So these are your research trees that you have to go through in order to unlock your technologies in order to advance. And then as you go, you're going to unlock different sections underneath here too because of uh, nuclear research and all that stuff that we're going to get later on. So yeah, so this is just the actual main quest tree. These are all your research tiers that you have to spend your research on. So yeah, it's not too bad, not too bad. Um, we get tiny coal. Well, that's how you get all the different saplings. You can chisel blocks and then the calculator. Then the calculator would be good to get into later on once we get like more complex things going on. Um, so let's do a quick little research run. So that way we can get some more copper. So at least be able to get at least a little bit of research done before the end of this uh, episode. So where are we here? awesome we got uh, green search now nice beautiful so now we have the ability to make steel so we're gonna have to use that to learn how to make steel if I'm not mistaken so if we go here research that's ore processing don't need that yet uh, materials right so we're gonna need 16 of those researches in order to in order to unlock steel so what I made what we're going to be able to create is only half so I'm gonna to have to uh, get some more stuff cooking up here so let's go half oops half throw you in toss you you and uh, I guess I'll just throw you in there for now 
Uh, get some more coal here. Good. There we go. Perfect, 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 perfect. That's a pretty good start anyway. So at least now we have the ability to make green research. So now it's just to farm up more materials and all that good stuff. So that's pretty awesome, man. Oh, um, are we out of coal here? There's like no more coal. I gotta go get my uh, scanner thing. Because if uh, we're out of coal there, then there's no sense of keeping that thing going. Where is that scanner? There we go. I'll put that on. Yeah, we're all done. Oh, man. Let's go to the next chunk. Oh, we'll just take that guy down. There you're wasting fuel. Wasting fuel, man. That's not good. I guess I should have grabbed my axe too, but this will do. That will do. That will do. Awesome. There we go. So now, if we go over this chunk here, there's more coal here, so that's good. Just clear that up. Uh, do, 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 do. Right click on you. Put some chestuses down. That and that. And now you can make me more coal. Great. Um, let's go and see the redstone one. How much redstone we got. Probably going to need to make uh, more modularium. I'm pretty darn sure that we're going to need quite a bit of that. Mainly just for those uh, casing. Oh, what? Oh, no. I ran out of heat. Oh, no fuel. Man, it's such a long walk. <laughs> it's like a belly aching, right? Oh, I gotta walk 10 feet. Ah. Oh. Alright, uh, wrong chest. Uh, I got 56 left, though. That'll do. Considering I'm mining some over there, so that'll be pretty good for the next batch. I'll have to put that coal in all the other machines to keep her going. Uh, we can get a lot of passive power later on, too. So we do have like a power section here. Uh, right here, so we get coal power, and we can get uh, water wheels, windmills, and then solar panels. Solar panels are they're garbage, but they're good. Um, they're garbage in the sense that they take a lot of materials to create, um, but once you can automate them and get down to like the lower tier ones, the sixteen thousand RF a tick there, that's pretty good. Um, considering it's just passive and it's always daytime it never goes nighttime so we're always stuck at like high noon which is really nice um, I guess that's uh, part of the the whole mod pack thing about staying uh, you know peaceful and enjoying daytime and all that good stuff so that way we don't have to deal with mobs at nighttime and we can take it full advantage of the solar panels because since there's no nighttime well it'll just be constant free power right so that's kind of one thing I'm kind of leaning towards, which would be nice. So let's grab uh, some of you and you. And then throw you in there. And then, yeah, that's good. We need more modularium. We need more of all kinds of stuff at the moment. We're doing pretty good, though. Not doing too bad. All right, so now we're going to need gears. Oh, wrong one. Ah! So let's go with gears. Oh man. Boop. Uh, one, two, three, four, four. I make. Uh, I'm trying to think how many I'm making with this. I think you make 16. All right, that's good. And then I need plates. 16 plates. Uh, how much fuel do I probably have no fuel in that probably only took what I needed to make the the research right so let's grab 16 since I'm being kind of cheesy at the moment on uh, what I need to put in here oops get in there there so now we're gonna be making more research so that gives us eight in total and we just need 16 and we'll be good will be very very good and then once we get steel unlocked well then we can start working on creating steel and getting some different automation so 
I think the first kind of goal were oh power train electricity is a powerful tool in advanced machines once i unlock it means producing power start going through these trees yeah well i'll start uh, doing that really soon uh, these are just quests to uh i guess tell you about what the lineup is about so what we really want to unlock is item conduits um this is going to be something that we're, we're really going to strive for to get that's going to help our automation out a lot and I like to strive to get these conduits because I don't like these in particular ones because they're all the wires that are all over the place and it looks really janky and it, I don't like it. It doesn't look so nice. It's not so uh, aesthetically appe appeasing in my opinion. So And the other stuff you can hide underground and all that good stuff too, So, which is pretty nice. I got no complaints on that. But, yeah, so... What are we doing over here? More modularium. Good, good, good. Try to get as much resources as we possibly can at these, uh, this in particular stage. That way I can kind of blast through a few things, which would be really, really nice. But yeah, other than that, I think we're on a good roll. I think we're on a very, very good roll. Ah, some more. Beautiful. Take that. Let's go get over the rest of our stuff over here complete our little Bermuda Triangle run oh my god it's so slow you're gonna see like one, once we get like speed boots there you're gonna be like oh my god it's so slow this is running too it's not even walking like, this is Minecraft run like it's brutal all right let's fill those up that way we uh, get all kinds of material which is awesome just friggin' awesome. Alright, so we got that, that, that. Let's uh, smelt more of this. Because, like, this is our life at the moment. Smelting. <laughs> uh, manual, manual life at the moment. But soon, we're not far from, from starting to, like, you know, get better storage and uh, being able to automate this kind of stuff. I'm going to skip automating with like belts and stuff like that just because I think we can get to where is it there the conduits pretty relatively quickly in my opinion within an episode or two I think that's how how fast we can get to that as long as I can grind out some um, some materials in between streams and stuff like that like I won't advance in the mod pack, but I can, um, I can advance us in that way by getting us more material. So that way, when we do start the next stream, well, we'll have more stuff, and it won't be just all. Um, it won't be just me running around collecting things, right? We'll we'll actually have like stuff to do, <laughs> which would be nice. But yeah. So that's where I'm going to call it for this uh, episode. Um, if you're watching on Twitch, well, uh, I'm going to take a couple of minute break and then I will be back. And after that, we'll do another hour stream. And then that's where we're going to call it for tonight. So thanks for watching, everybody. And for those on Twitch, I'll be right back.